Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about making these fun galaxy tie-dye t-shirts. Oh, they were so much fun to make and I was just like, I have got to make a video on this because I know some people probably want to know. So let's go over supplies. You probably want to get yourself an appropriate sized t-shirt which I bought from Michaels and I have lots of t-shirts to go through today. And then of course you need tie-dye. Now I don't care what kind of tie-dye you get, it's just easier for me to go to Michaels and grab the tulip tie-dye and as you can see I have a lot of tie-dye. Now Tulip is the name of the brand of tie-dye that I get and I really do like it. Uh, there's plenty of other options of tie-dye at Michaels and other Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. And you need plastic bags. You're going to need lots and lots of grocery plastic bags. And gloves! Plastic gloves! Trust me, you'll need them or your hands are going to be stained for a week. And so let's go ahead and open up the tulip box, one of the tie-dye packages that I have. So we've got all kinds of nice little bottles. Oh, and they come with rubber bands, which is very key when it comes to tie-dye. You're going to need some rubber bands. And look at all the gloves they gave us. How kind. And of course, we got some backup colors. If I run out of a certain color, I've got some extra powder for my tie-dye. And I get to put it in my little bottles. Now. I am not a professional tie dyer or anything, but since I am like a beginning tie dyer, <laughs> this is very, very nice. And look at Tulip even puts in their little packages like some instructions. Of course, we need instructions of how to actually tie dye, but they've got some cool techniques that they throw in there. And so, hey, you know what? I'm going to try a couple of these tie dye techniques on my shirts. Here is the basic way of how I have always tie-dyed any of my shirts, which is the radial spin tie-dye shirts. It's the typical tie-dye design. So what I do is I grab right at a point where I want my radial spin to start, and then I spin it, spin, I actually form the shirt around that spot where I grab my point for my radial spin. And what I do is I just keep putting my shirt together so it kind of looks like a rose you see how it looks like a rose almost so I want to make sure I keep that rose look and feeling look to it and I just want to go ahead and just keep it all together bunched together so I want those layers and I want to make sure it doesn't pile on top of each other and then after that what I do is I go ahead take my rubber bands and I go ahead and I want to still make sure I still have that rose. I want to see my layers. I don't want them piling on top of each other. Take my rubber bands and I'm making that flower into that little radial spot. I, you know, I just don't want it to leave that rose kind of feeling. So I take those rubber bands and I secure them down. Now I said that since Tulip included some fun little other techniques, I'm going to go ahead and give those a try. So I go ahead and take a couple of shirts and I will go ahead and follow the directions that Tulip included with the little box. And I go and I just rubber band all those shirts up. Next what I do is I go and I fill up all my little bottles with warm water. And make sure guys that you shake the bottles outside. Don't shake them inside your house because there's always a chance that one's gonna explode in the house. Trust me, I know from experience. Next, we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna go ahead, lay down one plastic bag onto the ground and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my t-shirt on top of that plastic bag. Make sure you have your gloves on because we're gonna start tie-dyeing and see, I shook my bottle outside. Outside, guys, don't do it inside. And I go ahead and I just start picking my first color and I just put my color where I want it to go. Now there's no specific way of doing it because pretty much your tie-dye might just bleed into each other with the color, similar colors and everything like that. See I've got lots of blue and teal and turquoise and everything and I'm just mixing them together and then of course I'm going to finish off the t-shirt with black. But what I do is I just see how I just turned it around and I want to make sure that I get every nook and cranny of my layers. I'm making sure that I get it all everywhere. So what I would do is I took my teal and I'm just making sure I'm getting all everywhere I see white on top of my shirt. I'm going to go ahead and get that colored. Now that it's all colored and ready to go, I'm going to take a separate grocery bag and I'm going to throw it in there, tie it off, and I'm going to let my t-shirt sit overnight. It says at least six to eight hours, so but I'm going to let it sit for um, 
overnight because the colors will just sink in better. And now I'm going to, as you can see, I'm just going and attacking the rest of these shirts and just putting a bunch of awesome tie-dye on with a green nebula galactical look. Next, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to rinse out after they have stayed out overnight. You want to rinse out that extra tie-dye and make sure that you leave the rubber bands in when you're rinsing them out and see these awesome designs. Then I'm going to go ahead, once all the excess tie-dye is rinsed out, go ahead and throw it in your washer and make sure that it's on a hot, cold setting for your washer to wash those out. Okay, they're done washing. Now, next what I do is I go and get a nice, good bowl of yummy Clorox bleach. Now, I'm outside, over off to the side where I can fling some bleach around where my dogs don't walk around. Make sure you consider that in mind. And I have my t-shirts on a clothes tree. And what I do is you can see from the back, you see how I already sprinkled that one shirt with some bleach. I took that old looking um, paintbrush. You wanna go ahead and get a paintbrush that is nice and old. And you see how I'm like flicking off the side of it with bleach and everything. Make sure you guys wear gloves, okay? Bleach will do unthinkable things to your skin. And so what I do is I, I fling some bleach and then I take the little bristle like technique where I just drag my finger across it and it'll fling bleach everywhere. And what I would do is I would just do every single shirt and then you want to make sure that there is time for bleach to go ahead and get rid of the color. So you're going to make sure that you give it a while, maybe a couple hours outside in the sun or something, just so that bleach will just take away the color. I know it's sad, but this is how we do the galactical ways. After you let the bleach set in for like a couple hours, you're gonna go and throw them back into the washer on a cold, cold setting. Now that they got the initial like colors out, you wanna go ahead and leave it on a cold, cold setting so you keep the color now. And by this time, I think that you don't have to really worry about the, um, the tie-dye bleeding into clothes just because you washed it so many times. So I'm not really worried about these shirts bleeding, but here are all those shirts, all galactified and wonderful galaxy shirts. I'm so excited. I actually did all of these shirts for um, I wanted to have like a wardrobe a specific wardrobe for my 100k video that's coming up soon that we're actually gonna go ahead and record this Thursday and then of course we won't I won't post it for like another month until I hit a hundred thousand followers so that's really awesome but this is my wardrobe for the video because I wanted all the boys and girls to have galaxy shirts so I went ahead and I did that thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see y'all later Hi! Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button, and hey, if you liked this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff, and like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see y'all later. Bye!